I'm a 26 year old, very burnt out entrepreneur from the UK. I run two businesses and one of them has just had their hardest quarter yet. I've just decided to start a daily vlog. And if you give me three minutes, I'll explain why. Very good question, why? Um, so a couple of reasons. One, I am a big believer in content, right? I run a social media marketing agency and a podcast studio. Those are my two businesses that I run. Uh, and they're both designed to basically help companies and individuals post more like content creators, be more authentic, and build demand for their businesses. Now, I have realized that I've not been doing enough of this myself. And I also realize that I communicate best when I'm just in the flow of life, whether you know I can communicate well in podcasting, in meetings, things like that. But if you just kind of sit me down and give me some kind of script and tell me to look at the camera and say something, it's usually way more wooden, robotic, and it's just not me. So I've decided to try and squeeze in three minutes of my day every single day to provide as much value as possible and to get to four certain goals. Goal number one, I've always had a dream of going and living in America. So I wanna take this business stateside. I wanna take my social media agency, set up a branch in America, and I don't have the foggiest clue of how to do it. I've watched plenty of YouTube videos, but I'm starting from complete scratch. Now, loads of you may have done this before. Our business is very young. It's still just about, this will be three years old actually next month. So. That's the whole goal, really. How do I take this business state so I start from the ground up and I'm gonna make sure to document as much of that as humanly possible. The second goal is to grow the younger business I have as quickly as possible right in front of your eyes. So I run Shogun Studios. It's a podcast studio based in Southampton that focuses mainly on video podcasting and actually helping you create the clips to promote your show online. Now, I wanna make sure we can get the word out for as much of that as possible. And I wanna show you what it's like to take a new business from zero to 100. And again, this is about you know usual people like shilling a course or something or whatever. I just wanna show you the, the progress and how we can do it, win, or lose, because we could lose. This could not work. Southampton could be the not the right market for this. So I'm very curious to see how it goes. And if you want to see me win or fail, make sure you hit that follow button. The next goal, which I think is probably one of the most important ones, is I want to grow my YouTube channel. Now, YouTube is a very interesting one. With the introduction of shorts, you can get a hell of a lot of views. And they've recently just brought down the criteria for you to start monetizing your YouTube channel. So you actually only need 300 subscribers now, which is insanely low compared to where it used to be, because I think it used to be around 10,000. So there's a massive opportunity there for a whole new wave of creators to rise up in this period and take advantage of both shorts and long form content on their channels. So if you're interested in following that journey, well, it's like to grow a YouTube channel from zero to whatever we end up getting it to, that'd be great. My aim is to see if we can get 300 subscribers by the end of this year. Now, it doesn't seem like a lot, but YouTube channels are always a long-term play. Never underestimate how long they take to grow. Trust me, it can be a while. The last thing I wanna do is see how much of an impact I can make with my social media content. Now, there is a lot that I need to say, communicate, and get across to a load of different people. And I think the way businesses, especially B2B businesses, their relationship with creativity and social media is completely broken. Um, how they are not taking organic social seriously and all the things we're missing out on, I think is absolutely insane. So I just wanna use me and this one singular camera Camera, that by the way I'm using all an auto just with the mic on this camera and I'm going to edit it in a free editor cap cut so you can see what's possible if you wanted to do something like this as well but I want to see how many people I can help with my content and I'll be recording behind the scenes in my meetings and just random thoughts will pop to my head throughout the day and I want you guys to help me measure the impact of how much that helped you in the comments so if you can comment below whenever you see something that might be of value again I'm going to try and put these out as much as humanly possible to show what's going on in our lives and how the these different goals are progressing. But for now, I'm gonna conclude this room, go about my day, and see what I can capture for you guys that's gonna be somewhat interesting. Part of this vlogging journey we're gonna go on is to test a couple of things. One, we're gonna test what this mic is like outdoors. Um, we're gonna see if it actually works well with this kind of, it's got this little like, fluffy muffler thing on, I think industry professionals call it a dead cat. Um, <coughs> we're also gonna test my resilience from walking about and actually just vlogging the experience and how weirdly embarrassing it is. Now, I weirdly get more cringed out trying to take a selfie than I do actually vlogging, but we're gonna take this bad boy to the streets and see how I actually play out. I started Shogun Social probably around three years ago in July. July 2020, I started working solo. Um, I started in my bedroom, getting clients off of Fiverr, and from there it's kind of grown and grown, so now we're a team of nine, Looking for team number number team member number ten. Really trying to help businesses, post site creators, 
create demand online and completely flip their mindsets around social media. Now, doing that requires me to put myself out of my comfort zone. And this is most definitely not doing at the moment. Um, you know, maybe if I was in London, people would question this less, but because we're based in Southampton, I'm probably gonna get a few weird looks, but here we are. One of the recent things I wanna do, and I'm still working out the logistics, is full price transparency on our website for where our different packages start. Most packages put together custom, but there's usually a very common archetype that arrives from each one I do. So I think if I can start to introduce pricing transparency, plus really going in with content marketing, which is proven by many people. One of them is Chris Walker from Refine Labs. He's absolutely incredible at this, and they basically coined the term demand generation. They're an agency out in Boston that does some really cool stuff. And again, he has pricing transparency on his site as well. So I think I want to be ahead of the curve with that. I want to be one of the first social agencies that really puts their prices and packaging up front and just help you guys as much as possible. We're just dealing with the world of B2B and just getting better as people, entrepreneurs and creators. Also, I want to just point out, I definitely lied about this being three minutes. This first one was never going to be three minutes. I should definitely re-record the intro, but I'm probably not going to. Out of pure laziness. But, we forge on. Good news, everyone. So, we're back in the studio. It's a little bit later on in the day. And I'm going through the kind of generic hello emails that we have um, for all kind of our business inquiries, everything else. Hello at showopendigital.co.uk if you're interested. And uh, I noticed that we have a new lead for the podcast studio, which I'm currently sat in. Uh, really, really exciting stuff. It is a referral from one of our previous, um, so he was actually a guest on one of our previous customers' podcasts, so he's interested in creating his own content here. So really nice to see that organic growth. I'm just going to get back to him now, get, uh, get in a meet. I do believe he was already booked a tour for tomorrow, but out of courtesy, just going to reply and get that rolling. So hopefully, score number one for new leads for the podcast studio. So it, it's almost similar to um, our, our tech client, for instance, um, where basically the goal is to get as many potential clients in their followings as possible. And then they can pull from that data and reach out individually and pull them into different campaigns and stuff later. So it's very much our kind of top of funnel activity. Uh, and then because they are, they're growing at a really healthy rate. So, you know, if we went hard on using their organic content for paid content and really started to get loads of leads in, that they're not probably ready for that right yet so it's about setting that organic foundation especially in the first three months getting them used to this that consistency and just giving them that culture of creative testing that like i want us to be very much like this is the account where we have a lot of flexibility in terms of how the the owners think and what they're willing to try and what they're willing to do so to get them to to push the boundaries in terms of how they think creatively and just even testing different formats and ladies and gentlemen just like that the first day of vlogging is over Pretty weird, pretty eclectic. I found it like I'd almost forget that I need to keep the vlog rolling. And it's definitely gonna be a habit I have to get into because you know, when things crop up at work, you know what it's like. You gotta jump on it, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. But I had a great time doing it, I wanna keep active on it. And even if these end up being very small slices of my day that I put out as teasers on my other channels, mainly my LinkedIn or my TikTok, then I'll put the full version up on my YouTube channel so you guys can actually see the full scope of what I'm up to if you're interested. So. Without further ado, that's day one. Let's see how long we can last, folks. <laughs> Hopefully for a long time. I'll see you all soon. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment what you thought of the first episode.